Hi everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. I apologize for recently using different narrators in my videos. This is because the narrator I usually use has become difficult to access. Whenever I find a suitable replacement, I always encounter minor shortcomings with that narrator. So, in essence, I ask for forgiveness for this issue. Hopefully, things will improve in the future. Anyway, as usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Can you imagine paying $7 for a gallon of gasoline? It could soon happen, because it seems that, in the story of the war in the Middle East, Israel is about to strike Iran and that is likely to cause events in the Middle East to spiral completely out of control. Right now, approximately one-fifth of all oil used in the world goes through the Strait of Hormuz. An apocalyptic war in the region could potentially close the Strait of Hormuz until the conflict is resolved one way or the other. In addition, oil infrastructure could be destroyed in Iran and other nations in the Middle East as the fighting rages and that could substantially reduce global oil production for an extended period of time. Our way of life depends on cheap oil, and so, if a major regional war in the Middle East causes the price of oil to go skyrocketing, that is going to deeply affect all of us. On Monday, the average price of a gallon of gasoline in the United States was just $3.63. The average price for a gallon of regular gas in the U.S. was $3.63 as of Monday, according to AAA, up almost 4 cents from a week earlier and 22 cents from a month ago. Even though the average price of a gallon of gasoline has risen more than 20 cents in a month, I would still consider it to be at a very low level, especially compared to what is eventually coming. One expert that was interviewed by MarketWatch is warning, that the average price of a gallon of gasoline in the U.S. could hit $5.40 this summer. Cola's estimated that a spike in oil prices pushing U.S. gasoline to $5.40 a gallon this summer would make a recession later in 2020 for a genuine possibility. U.S. gas prices averaged $3.634 a gallon at the pump on Monday, according to AAA. And that same expert also warned that if the price of oil reaches $125 a barrel, it could push the U.S. economy into a recession. Crude prices are our chief concern, but we are a long way from $125 a barrel, a level of West Texas intermediate oil that would almost certainly cause a recession if sustained, said Colas. Gasoline prices are the transmission mechanism between Mideast conflict and the U.S. economy. When pump prices increase quickly, consumers must cut back on other spending. Personally, I think that such a projection is wildly optimistic. If Israel and Iran start lobbing thousands of missiles at one another, we could easily see the price of oil surpass $150 a barrel, and it is likely that the average price of gasoline in the U.S. would shoot past $7 a gallon. So I started to think maybe this is one of the main goals, raising oil prices to accelerate the sustainable energy agenda. And if nuclear weapons are used in the Middle East, there is no telling what might happen. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstandings. Right now, the financial markets are waiting to see if Israel chooses to retaliate. If the Israelis strike Iran, and oil infrastructure is targeted, that will definitely send oil prices up. If Israel does retaliate, and it becomes a full-fledged conflict, that's a different story. And maybe Iran's oil platforms, refineries, are taken out, he said. That would send oil prices up. I think that is what is going to happen. At this moment, it is being reported that Israel is preparing to retaliate. 
The Iranians are one of the largest producers of oil in the world, and during the Biden administration, they have been able to dramatically increase oil exports. Iran has steeply raised oil exports, its main source of revenue during the Biden administration, after they were severely reduced due to measures taken by the Trump administration. The White House has argued it isn't encouraging Iran to raise exports and is enforcing sanctions. Lower Iranian exports would lead to a further rise in oil prices and the cost of gasoline in the U.S., which would be a politically sensitive issue ahead of this fall's presidential elections. If an all-out war between Israel and Iran erupts, it is probably inevitable that the Strait of Hormuz will be closed, and that will be catastrophic for the entire global economy. Potential Impacts on the Shipping Transiting Through the Strait of Hormuz, a choke point for about one-fifth of the world's total oil consumption, will also factor into markets pricing. The commander of Iran's Revolutionary Guards Navy said on Tuesday that Iran could close the strait if deemed necessary. And earlier on Saturday, Iran's state-run Erna News Agency said an IRGC helicopter boarded a vessel, the Portuguese-flagged MSC Ares, and took it into Iranian waters. Just think about that. One-fifth of all the oil the world uses goes through the Strait of Hormuz. We are in uncharted territory, and we could soon see a level of panic in the financial marketplace that we haven't seen in a very long time. Meanwhile, economic conditions in the U.S. just continue to deteriorate. Earlier today, I was saddened to learn that even Tesla has decided that mass layoffs have become necessary. Tesla has announced layoffs of more than 10% of its global workforce in an internal company-wide email. We exclusively reported yesterday that Tesla was prepping a massive layoff. For the last few months, it has looked like Tesla might be preparing for a round of layoffs. Tesla told managers to identify critical team members and pause some stock rewards while canceling some employees' annual reviews. It also reduced production at Gigafactory Shanghai. Things are definitely not good now, but they will get a whole lot worse if a major regional war does erupt in the Middle East. It takes energy to make products, transport products, and sell products. The price of oil has an enormous impact on literally every sector of our entire economy. If an apocalyptic war in the Middle East were to cause the price of oil to double, it would send us into a horrific economic tailspin. And this is the main goal, a starving society to be enslaved. So, let's hope for the best, but let's also prepare for the worst. Now, it's time for me to hear from you, what are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.